Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the different types of variables. You are expected to define nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio variables and know the difference between nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio variables. First, what is variable? So when we say variable, it is the heart or central concept in research. So, it is the fundamental concepts of research. It is primarily measurable characteristic that changes in value. So, the root word of the word variable is vary or simply can change. It may be different from characteristic to another characteristic, one group to another group, one person to another person, or even with the same person over time. A variable can be anything that may assume different numerical or categorical values. So according to Bernard, cited by Preto, defines a variable as something that can take more than one value, and values can be words or numbers. The most common variables in social research are age, gender, education income, marital status, and occupation. All social research is based on defining variables, looking for associations among them, and trying to understand whether one variable causes another. And also, uh, variables are units of analysis, some of which includes, uh, like, like I, what I said, gender, age, socioeconomic status, attitudes or behaviors such as bullying, racial discrimination, and among others. According to Chris Will of 2002, a variable specifically refers to a characteristic or attribute of an individual or an organization that can be measured or observed, and that varies among the people or organization. So, we have four levels of measurement. The nominal variable, so that is the yung pinakamababa. No? Next is the ordinal variables. At itong dalawa, yung nominal and ordinal variables, is categorical. So, meaning uh, values can be words, in words. Next level is interval variables and ratio variables. Yung dalawa, the interval variables at yung pinaka- uh, pinakamataas sa apat na levels of measurement, yung ratio variables, itong dalawa naman, uh, values are numbers. So, in, unlike dito, no, categorical, so in words lang itong dalawa, yung ordinal and nominal. But in ratio and interval, so values can be in numbers or numerical. First is nominal variables. So, what is nominal variables? Nominal variables represent categories. That cannot be ordered in any particular way. It is only a matter of distinguishing by name. So, what are the characteristics of nominal variables? First, the responses to a nominal variables can be divided into two or more categories. So, for example, the gender. So, kinakategorize lang natin siya. It's either female or male. So, walang order na sinusunod yung wala tayong uh, dapat mauna yung male or mauna yung female. So, hindi ano dito yung order. Again, nominal variables represent categories. And another characteristics, a nominal variable is qualitative, which means numbers are used here only to categorize or identify objects. So, ibig sabihin, so dito nga, uh, the value can be in words so hindi natin ito mamimeasure kasi wala naman yung numbers na nire-represent lang dito is to categorize kung ano yung hinihingi. So kasi minsan nilalagyan natin ng number for example, what is your gender? Number 1 male, number 2 female. So yung number doon ay to represent nung uh, to identify lang nung category or representation lang ng category. So hindi yon yung number na is, dapat yung 1 is yung male o yung 2. So, walang order. 
another characteristics, they can also take quantitative values. However, these quantitative values do not have numeric properties. That is, arithmetic operation cannot be performed on them. So, sabi ko nga kanina, so pwede nating gamitin yung number to uh, represent or to categorize lang ng isang uh, halimbawa natin itong hair color. Or, sa so, kagaya nung nakikita nyo, for example, yung mga basketball player, gumagamit sila ng number sa likod. So, hin for their identification. So, hindi naman yun, especially na, na may measured natin. Okay? So, hindi natin yun naka-quantify. Again, pag sinabi natin nominal variable, kinakategorize natin. So, here are some examples, no? Uh, the marital status, religion, political orientation, strand, eye color, business type, brand of COVID-19 vaccines, and favorite TV stations. Ordinal variables, this involves data that arranged in some order but differences between data. It has two or more categories which can be ranked. So, kaga ito ay kagaya rin ng uh, nominal, uh, nominal variables na nakakategorize natin. Yung pagkakaiba lang, meron itong rank or order. So, the characteristics, it is an extension of nominal data. It has no standardized interval scale. It establishes a relative rank. So, for example, yung ranking contest natin. So, meron tayong champion, first runner-up, second runner-up. So, may category din siya, pero dito sinusunod natin yung order. Ibig sabihin, uh, kung inarrange natin, eh, dapat yung una, yung pinakamataas, yung pangalawa, yung first runner-up, yung second runner-up. So, ang, may order ito. So, nirarank natin sa yung ordinal variables. Next is, it measures qualitative traits. So, wala pa rin itong uh, numbers involved o hindi pa rin natin ma-quantify kasi yung values nito can be in words lang tala. The median and mode can be analyzed and it has a rank or order. So, importante na alam natin yung pagkakaiba. Yung nominal kanina, category din siya. Itong ordinal category but merong order, merong rank. So, like for example, the Likert scale, it issues researchers to prepare questionnaires and get people opinions. So, ito ay isang halimbawa no, ng uh, evaluation ng isang program. So, di ba nilalagay natin pag nagre-rate tayo, uh, yung strongly agree is the highest. Next is yung agree, disagree is strongly disagree. So, minsan nilalagay natin ng number. So, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, ito yung halimbawa, no? yung ordinal variables. T-shirt size. So, merong small, medium, and large. Military rank. Okay, so sa Philippine Army, so ito yung mga military rank. General, lieutenant general. Class officers. So, ang pinakamataas, president. Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer. Next is the highest educational attainment. No? Uh, kung graduate kila na elementary, secondary, or undergrad. Academic Excellence Award. So, meron tayong honors, with honors, and with highest honors. Happiness Index for the day. Kung i-rate mo ng 10. Grade level, okay, for example, in junior high, meron tayong grade 7, 8, 9, and 10. Interval variables, it provides information about order and provides an interval. It, it also determines meaningful amounts of differences between the data. So, it is one of the two types of quantitative variables. So, when you say quantitative variables, uh, yung values nito ay numerical na. Maka-quantify natin. Unlike dun kanina sa nominal and ordinal, yung values kasi in words lang. 
For so for example, meron tayong temperature, so 30 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Celsius. So sabi kanina, uh, order and provide, so may order pa din. No, alam natin kung sino yung pinahamataas. And then, ang pinagkaiba lang, merong interval at makikita na natin yung differences nila. So alam natin na ang difference ng 30 and 20 is 10 degrees Celsius. Yun ang pinagkaiba ni interval doon sa nauna. No? And then of course, arithmetic operation can be performed on interval variables. However, this operation are restricted to only addition and subtraction. So sabi, kasi dito pwede na natin makuha yung difference ng dalawa. Another, the interval variables in extension of the ordinal variable, in other words, we could say interval variables are built upon ordinary, ordinary variables. The interval on the scale are equal in interval variables. So the scale is equidistant. So kagaya ng 30 and 20, so yung difference nila is 10 degrees Celsius. Ganun din yung 20 and 10. 10 degrees Celsius. Also 10 and 0. The variables are measured using an interval scale which not only shows the order but also shows the exact difference in the value. It has no zero value. So when you say it has no zero value, it's kagaya nito, may zero degree Celsius tayo, it doesn't mean na uh, wala tayong mararamdaman, di, walang temperature doon. So, yun, kasi meron tayong negative degree Celsius eh. So, meron tayong, so therefore, yung zero, meron yan. Another example, the performance level of the students. Okay, so pwede natin, using the rating scale, no? pwede, that's some example of interval, kasi pareho yung interval nila, yung 1 to 10. So, kung kukunin natin yung difference, that is 10. IQ test, time, test score, grade point average. Like for example, yung uh, grade sa college, yung 1, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75. So, yung difference nila equidistant. Ganun din yung IQ test, yung test score. The last level, so ito yung sinasabing pinaka-highest levels among the four, the ratio variables. Ratio variables have the properties of interval variable and has a clear definition of zero. Indication that there is none of that variables and allows all arithmetic operations. So for example, age. Okay, so makikita natin sa halimbawa yung 20 years old, 10 so, yung 20, makikita natin, ay doble yan siya ng 10 years old. Okay, yung 10, ibig sabihin, from 2 years old, 5. Uh, limang doble nung uh, 2 years old. So, makikita natin yung ratio nila. And of course, yung differences also, makikita natin. Uh, the difference between 20 and 10 years old, makukuha natin, that is 10. And also, 2 and 1, makukuha rin natin. At dito, as nakalagay kasi dito, it has clear definition of zero. So, ito yung pinaka, ano natin, base. But, wala tayong zero, of course, dito. Uh, walang, yung, walang zero year old. Kagaya din sa height. So, walang height na zero and weight. No? Another example is distance. So, pag sinabi natin yung ratio variable, so lahat na to kasama dyan yung distance, mga number, uh, lahat na ng numbers included dito. Hindi, ay, hindi kagaya ng interval, no, may limit lang, ilan lang. So, dito lahat na. So, kasama yung mga, lahat ng measurement, or the area, aside from height, from weight. So, lahat na dito kasama sa ratio variables. Another example is number of siblings. That is an example of ratio variables. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.